I don't know about these nobodies, but like... But you know what? All of these nobodies are gonna use their mind powers to make you buy my shit, rich people. So just do it before their mind powers, you know, make you, you know... Uh, should I drink this liquor? Or should I snort this coke? Or should I smoke this joint? Right? Buy the fucking Mimo bot, and you know to just smoke the joint. Right? Woo! Do it. Alright. Do you want that address again? It's memory shuffle at hotmail.com. And, you know, if you're worried about, like, my disclosing who buys this stuff, I'm not gonna say anything. Alright? I'll just be like, woohoo, I sold all of them. You know? I'm not gonna be like, oh, guess who, guess who bought this one? Oh, fucking, uh, you know, Timothy Bottoms bought this one. And you know who bought this one? Ah, oh, Virginia Madsen, right? I, I'm just gonna sell these, and you guys are just gonna buy them, and you're gonna love them. Alright. Next. Hold on. Ah. All right, I got the, the Jesus types and the Jews and the Mormons all pretending to be indie rockers and uh, hipsters so that they can, you know, fuck your shit up, you know. They're all out there, beware. All right. Using a system of bargains and deals, all right. So all of these people out there are just using a system of bargains and deals to try and, like, you know, skate by with their trash magic, but... But you know they go home, and they gotta do all sorts of shit for their fucking spirit world masters, right? While we are free, alright? So, keep watching. Alright. Alright, so, everyone thinks, uh, I don't usually read from this shit, but like, alright. Why? Like, everyone thinks that their team is going to win. Oh, yeah, I'm with the Christians, and our team is going to win. Oh, I'm with the Jews, and our team is going to win. They've all lost already. All right? They're all just psychic vampire trash. It doesn't matter if they're, like, Christians or Jews, because the psychic vampire trash can just impersonate all of these things and then roll in and be like, Oh, I'm Jehovah. I'm gonna th you better go to, the, go to the store and buy some Twinkies. Eat the Twinkies. Oh, I, you know, Starbucks is open. I want you to order a venti, like, triple shot this. Uh, everyone's me drinking the coffee. Ah, uh, do some coke, blah, blah, blah. You know, they think that they're following the orders of Jehovah, but it's just like, you know, fucking like, uh, the, the distant relative of your neighbor who hates how you don't mow your lawn often enough. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. You know, oh, this. Anyway. Alright, why the prequels sucked? Why did the Star Wars prequels suck? And why does everything post Empire Strikes Back suck? Like, I know what you're saying. Hey, Return of the Jedi didn't suck. It could have been so much better. Empire Strikes Back, that's as good as it could possibly be. Star Wars, that's as good as, that's as, good as it could possibly be. Empire Strikes Back, you know, you remove the Ewoks and make them Wookiees. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, why, why do the prequels suck? Well, because all of the people who actually designed the look of the Star Wars universe got so pissed off at George Lucas for posing in front of their creations, you know? Like, if you see, if you see, like, George Lucas on the cover of a magazine with, uh, R2-D2, you know? George Lucas did not design R2-D2. I think it was either Ralph McQuarrie or, like, John Mola. I don't know. Like, uh, or, <clears throat> I think it was Ralph McQuarrie. So, like, while, while George Lucas is, like, you know, ah, I am, you know, the visionary you know, who, uh... I'm the visionary, you know, director, you know, with my flannel shirt, and like, uh... You know, here's my... Here's, ah, yes, here I am, George Lucas! Yes, Star Wars, my, my ingenious creation! And like, you know, Ralph McQuarrie's like, George, why can't I sit... Why can't I pose in front of R2-D2? Because R2-D2's my creation, right? Oh no, no, I'm I'm the creator of R2D2. I'm the producer. And like, you know, John Molo, who designed all the costumes and aliens, is like, hey, uh, hey George, uh, why can't I pose in front of uh, my creations? Why do you have to pretend like you created all this shit? 
Ah, because I did. I'm the producer. I, I controlled you and made you design these things. I gave you the input, right? Joe Johnston is like, Hey, George, you know, I designed a lot of shit for your fucking movies, and, like, you're taking all the credit for it. Ah, because I'm the producer. I designed everything. It's all mine, right? Sorry, but Ralph... Is it Ralph McQuarrie? Anyway, we'll say, uh, Ralph McQuarrie... Ralph McQuarrie designed C-3PO and R2-D2. Joe Johnston... I think Joe Johnston might have designed some shit for Empire. Some, uh... I think Joe Johnston invented uh, or designed Boba Fett, right? Oh man, Boba Fett's so hot! You know, George Lucas isn't standing in front of Boba Fett, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, sorry, but George Lucas did not invent the look of Boba Fett, did not invent Boba Fett's costume. It was either like Joe Johnston, or John Molo, or Ralph McQuarrie. You know, these three guys, you know, and like, if you like the Slave One, that was designed by Milo Rodi Jamero. Jamero, we'll say. This guy designed the fucking Slave One, right? And I, I think this guy designed Boba Fett. This guy designed R2 D2 and C3PO. And this guy designed Han Solo, um, Luke Skywalker, and uh, Princess Leia's costumes. In addition to fucking, um,. You know, uh, Hammerhead and like Greedo and all that shit. And so, what did this guy do? He ripped off Akira Kurosawa. All right. So this guy ran out of ideas after THX 1138. This guy ran out of this guy ran out of ideas after THX 1138, which is ripped off of you know countless other things, but it's still a good movie, right? THX 1138 is an excellent movie. And it kind of opens your eyes to a lot of things. And Star Wars does also, but this dude is not solely responsible for all of this shit, but he pimped himself as being responsible for all of this shit. R2-D2, uh, Boba Fett, Han Solo, uh, Darth Vader. He did not design any of that shit. And then he pimped himself as the creator of all of that, and so all of these guys left. Fuck you, dude. We're leaving. And that's why the prequels sucked. Anyway. So I'm just going to be cutting together videos for myself, and I'll be posting them on YouTube, and I'll be selling these things, completely unrelated, but I'll be selling these things also. So, uh, you know, I hope you enjoy my videos. You know what I'm saying? That's oh, so good! Ah, oh, The Prisoner with Foles as the soundtrack. It's so good. Oh man, I wish I didn't have to. W I wish I didn't have to deal with the buggy YouTube glitches and shit. You know, if you don't have like a 10 trillion megahertz processor, you know, I'm still using my laptop from 2003. All right, like it works fine. Oh, uh, I have to watch high def shit. You might have noticed that my videos are extremely high quality. You know, and they're not high def. High def is garbage. If I'm not shooting on film, I'm gonna be shooting on this. Like you might have, you might have, you might be wondering, man, this looks extremely good. You know, it's it's all lit perfectly. It looks it's represented extremely well. You know, this is amazing. Oh, it's not high def. Oh, it's not. Oh, weird, right? You know, I've been to Best Buy and I've looked at their uh, their plasma screen TVs and their LCD screen TVs. And the weird thing about high def is that, like, when you see, like, grass, like, the machine or some shit doesn't know what to do. It's like, ah, it's, it's all, like, blocky and you see some artifacting. And it's like, you know, you see, you'll see, like, the demonstrations and it looks so crisp and clear. But then you see grass and, and, and like, uh, you know, the, the Blu-ray player is like, ah, I don't know what to do. And so what's the secret of high def? Dithering. You know? It's like if you watch something on on uh, on DVD with a with an S video connection on a 16 by 9 cathode ray tube set, it looks perfect. Um, Blade Runner, the latest uh, the latest version of Blade Runner that was released, the uh, the definitive cut or the final cut. The final cut of Blade Runner looks amazing on my cathode ray tube 16 by 9 television set. It's not high def at all. It's just S video. It looks perfect. <laughs>